Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today I'm going to show you how to create an attribute that we can now add to our attribute set that we created in the last tutorial. So, to get started, we're going to click on Catalog, and we're going to go to Attributes, and then Manage Attributes. So here's a list of every attribute that's ever been created. It spans four pages, uh, or one if you choose to display 200 on one page. Um, and it gives you a little bit of information with required, system, visible, scope, searchable. Yeah, cool. Okay, well let's add a new one. Up top here is the add attribute. We'll click that. And our attribute code, this is a unique code with no spaces. Uh, it's just for internal use. And so we're just going to call this to be, let's say, um, Format because these tutorials are going to have a, a like a type of format, whether it's an MOV or an MP4. I mean, I'm I'm sort of reaching here, but um, I mean this product is a tutorial. So format is our attribute code, and then the scope we're going to leave at store view. Uh, it's going to be what type of input? Uh, you can have it be a text field, a test text area, date, yes or no. Um, we're going to have this be a, a drop down because we want you to just pick from a couple of options. Um, is it a unique value? Is it uh, not shared with other products? No, it's not unique. Um, values required? Yes, we're gonna have that and you need to fill this out. All products need to have a format that are tutorials. So input validation from store owner. Uh, we don't need to worry about that. Apply to. Um, selected product types. If we click this, it's going to say, uh, you know, maybe virtual products only, um, or maybe configurable, grouped, or simple. Uh, we're going to let this go to all product types. Uh, we don't necessarily want to limit uh, if we want digital download tutorials, or let's say somebody is buying a pack of DVDs if people buy DVDs anymore, and um, and then they could, you know, that would be a physical product. So. Um, is it allowed to be used in quick search? Yes. Is it allowed to be used in advanced search? Yes, we want that. Uh, can you compare this on the front end? Yeah, we want it to be a comparable field so that people can check out different formats and compare them. Can it be used in the layered navigation? Sure. Uh, we'll filter with results. Um, using search results layered navigation? Yes. So these are going to allow you to filter by different types of the formats that we're going to have in our select list. Um, this position, I'm not going to worry about it. It's going to put it wherever it wants. However, if you want to give it a weight value, you can give it a number that's a weight value. Um, let's see, allow HTML tags on the front end. Yes, visible and product view page on the front end. Um, yeah, we want it to be visible on the front end and used in product listing depends on the theme no uh because our theme doesn't really support this um used for sorting in the product listing no it's cool we're good um so next here is manage label options if you'll notice when you click over here there's still this little uh disc that pops up right here and this just means that you have changed things in here and they need to be saved so now these are our options since this is a drop down list we're going to add an option, and um, for all of them, we're going to say, let's say, MOV. And we're going to add another option. It's going to be MP4. And we're going to add another option, and it will be MKV. Okay, cool. So we're just going to have MOV be the default. And if, as you can see here, it says, um, if you do not specify the option value for the specific store view, then admin will be used. And since we just want admin to, we want these to be the same all the way around, uh, I'm just going to leave admin selected. So these are going to be titles. So, um, so this is just going to be format again. And now we're going to save. We'll just click save because that's everything. Okay, so it's bumped us out of here. And, uh, now it's a, let's see, let's scroll down here. Um, actually, let's view more of them. We'll click this to view 200 on a page, and we'll look for format. Format, here it is. Uh, attribute la label format, is it required? Yes. System, no. 
Visible, yes. Store view, yes. Okay, cool. So let's add this to our attribute set. So if we go back to catalog and attribute sets, uh, let's go down to tutorials, click this. And now it's going to be in our unassigned attributes right here. And we're going to drag it into general because that's where we want it. Uh, I'll show you exactly how that comes into play once we create a product. But let's look for format. It puts it at the bottom because it's the newest one. We're just going to click and drag and we'll put this somewhere, let's see, under the uh, SKU number. The, uh, okay. So now if we say this attribute set, any product that we create with the tutorials attribute set we're going to be allowed to select the format. So in the next lesson, I'm going to show you how to create a product. And it's just going to be a really simple product, but we can select our format and it'll be a tutorial and it'll be up and going. And uh, it'll be great because at that point you could add it to your cart and you'd almost have a, a total working store um, without you know product stuff set up or payment uh, process set up. So after we create a couple products, we go through a little bit of that. We'll go through the payment process, the shipping stuff, and you'll have a working store in no time. So, as always, if you have any questions, hit us up on uh, the comments or at Level Up Tuts on Twitter. Um, once again, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and thanks for watching. Bye.